Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ivy and I do makeup sometimes. Um, today I have a little bit of a Valentine's Day inspired tutorial. Uh, just a little half cut crease using Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. But before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to quickly say thank you to my friend Victoria for doing my intro and outro. I think they look super bomb. I'm honestly so shook and so thankful that she did that. Um, if you would like a intro and outro or you have any kind of like graphic designy related project you're doing, definitely hit her up. I'll leave all of her info down below in all of my videos pretty much. So make sure you check her out. And yeah, that's it. So let's get into this tutorial. That was weird. All right, to start out, I already filled in my brows. I filled them in with a little bit of brow powder, some dip brow, a little bit of gel liner, my little concoction. I will have a tutorial on that as soon as I can manage to stay in frame while I do it. But as for right now, I'll just list down, list everything I use down below. And um, yeah, so it's just time for foundation. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video for foundation, I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso with a little bit of mahogany, but I couldn't find my mahogany, so I put a little bit of dark cocoa in there. And then I'm just going to apply that all over my face using a stippling brush. And then after I use a stippling brush, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender just to give my face that like airbrush effect. All right, now I think that foundation is like sufficiently blended in. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the face alone and I'm gonna do my eyes and then we will come back to highlight and contour in a second. So next clip, we're gonna be on eyes. All right, so I am going to prime using a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Yellow Corrector. I just put a little bit of that on my lids and then I am going to blend that in. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set that with an off-white eyeshadow. You can use any eyeshadow, but I generally use white chocolate from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And yeah, I just apply that from lash line to brow bone to ensure that everything blends smoothly. All right, as with every one of my pink looks, I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush palette. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this color right here as our transition shade. Um, you don't really have to do this, but just to ensure a smooth blend and like that my look is as pink as possible, I'm going in with that. I'm also go using a like regular fluffy blending brush. This one is from, from Sephora and it doesn't have a name on it, so I really feel bad that I can't give y'all a spe specific brush, but it's just a regular like fluffy blending brush. All right, now that that's on, I'm just gonna go right in with my Modern Renaissance palette for the rest of this look. I'm going to be using the shade Love Letter right in my crease on the same brush. Now that that's on, I am going to take a little bit of yellow corrector on the back of my hand and the same brush I used to cut my brows with and I'm going to do a half cut crease. This step is definitely optional. Um, if you want, you can just go in with a lid shade that I'm about to show y'all in a second and just slap that on your lid um, and it'll still look gorgeous. I just really want a little bit more of a defined crease, so that's what I'm going for. When I cut my crease, I make sure to see where my socket line is. So right here is where my socket kinda is and I cut from there. All right, so I just applied a thin layer of that on the lid, and now I'm gonna work on really defining the crease. So I've got a fair amount of concealer on my brush. Now I just raise my eyebrows, going from my inner corner, and start to smooth out that crease line. I also like to make sure to blur the outer portion of the concealer 
just to help it blend whenever I go on top with other shadows. Next, we're going to take that like grayed lavender shade ooh, right here. It's called like Bon Fresco or something. And we're just gonna pat that on the lid. And this is what I was saying before, you could have totally skipped the cut crease part and just slap this color on the lid and you'd be totally fine. Now that that is on, we're just going to go in with Love Letter again on an Morphe M433 and just place that right back in the outer corner and slowly blend that onto the lid just so it can look nice and blended. I feel like this is the key to a half cut crease. It's just going back and blending in that lid shade with your crease color. All right, that's it for the eyes for right now. We're just gonna put those on hold and highlight and contour, and then we'll finish up the eyes at the end. All right, so for my under eye concealer, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, and I'm just applying that under the eyes, down the nose, on the forehead, all that. All right, now that I've highlighted with the LA Girl, I'm going in with a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me in the Color Cafe just because this is more hydrating, so it keeps me from getting super dried out by the end of the day. Um, if I use Maybelline Fit Me by itself, it creases on me, but when I mix it with the LA Girl, it's popping. And then I'm going in with a damp beauty blender and blending all of that out. I also make sure to go up by my eyeshadow just to clean up anywhere that's gotten away from me. Then I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup and I am going to bake under the eyes. After that, I'm taking a little bit of my JTB Cosmetics powder and setting the rest of my face. Next, we are going to take our Makeup Geek Contour shade in Scandal. It's like a nice dark contour. And then we are going to take our Real Techniques blush brush and contour our face. I'm also going in with my powder brush just to make sure everything's all blended, especially on my forehead. Before I contour my nose, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal True Match powder in the color C7 um, and apply that to my nose. I like to do this just because it is a very mattifying powder, so I feel that whenever I apply it to the nose, um, it keeps me from getting oily during the day. All right, now I'm gonna take my Tarte X Makeup Shayla Contour Kit. I used to like to use this shade right here to contour my nose. I need to find an alternative because I know that it is, it was limited edition, so it's like hard to get a hold of now. So if you have any recommendations for a shade similar to this or anything you like to contour your nose with in general, let me know so I can check it out. I don't like my nose contour to be super duper intense, but I still like it to be there, you know what I mean? So then I'm also taking just a touch of the darker shade and just intensifying it a touch in some places. So across the bottom to kind of give my nose that lift and just a little bit down the sides to help it blend. All right, so that's that. And now I'm gonna go in with the same blush we use as our transition shade from the e.l.f. blush palette. And I'm just going to hit my cheeks. And after all of that, my under eye highlight has been kind of swept away, so might as well just get rid of that bake. For highlight today, I'm gonna be taking my JTB Cosmetics highlighter in the color Red Wine and just hitting the tops of my cheekbones and stuff like that with it. It's like a really pretty, like, subtle, kind of pinky bronze. Like, it's dark, but it definitely has like a pinky tone to it, which I really enjoy. Just gonna take a little bit of that on my nose, the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm gonna take just a little bit of Juvia's Place eyeshadow in Lala and hit the tops of my cheeks as well, just to intensify that highlight just a little bit more. I'm not gonna use a lot of that though, because I still wanna keep that pinky tone. Next, we're gonna go right back onto the eyes with that blush shade on the lower lash line. And we're using our Morphe M433 for this. 
Next, we're going back into Modern Renaissance with a little bit of love letter and just placing that right on the lower lash line as well. And now that that's done, I'm going to go throw on some liner and lashes and do the lips and we'll be done. All right, so now I have my lashes and wing liner on. I'm just wearing my Eyelor lashes in the color, and the color, in the style 126. And I use the L'Oreal something. I'll link it down below. I use a liquid liner. And now we're gonna go in with the lips. For the lips, we're gonna go in with a little bit of NYX Temptress. And now that that's on, we're gonna take a little bit of ColourPop LAX and apply that. Now to finish it all off, I'm gonna go into my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and just spray down my face. And I'm just gonna go with a beauty blender and pounce that over my highlight before this all dries. I just feel like it helps it look really blended and helps you avoid looking like you just have a streak of shimmer on your face. Excuse the kiss mark on the back of my hand for me taking off the excess product. And yeah, that's the finished look. I'm digging it. Cue the slow-mos. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe because I would love to see you around for the next one. And yeah, um, if you would like to check out my other social medias, my Snapchat is MissPoisonIvy01. My Twitter and Instagram are both at IvyKungu, but as always, they're always linked right down there, right down below. And that's about it. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.